Jasp. Random forest clustering, wine types. The wine dataset contains the results of a chemical analysis of wines grown in a specific area of Italy. Three types of wine are represented in the 178 samples, with the results of 13 chemical analyses recorded for each sample. This example shows a random forest clustering algorithm to identify the most distinguishing variables between wines. More specifically, the random forest cluster model is optimized with respect to its BIC value, which can be inspected in the elbow curve plot. The random forest clustering table shows some summary statistics and performance statistics, like the AIC and BIC, of the model. Silhouette scores describe the degree of separation between the clusters. The within sum of squares of each cluster is an indication of the speed within the cluster. The random forest algorithm shows us what variables are the most important in the clustering. It seems like the amount of flavonoids in the wines is a very distinguishing feature. The elbow plot tells us where to find the kink in the curve, the point where considering another cluster would be unnecessary. The red represents the minimum BIC value, since the model is optimized with respect to this metric. A TSNE plot is a way to visualize highly dimensional data on a two-dimensional graph. The price to pay, however, is that the axes become uninterpretable. This TSNE plot nicely shows how the different clusters are mapped together. Step by step. Open data file. Under Machine Learning menu item, pick Random Forest in Clustering. Put all variables except type into Features area. Check Silhouette Score. And Between Sum of Squares under Tables. Check Elbow Method. And Tsni Cluster Plot. Under Plots. Check Set Seed. In Algorithmic Settings. Under Training Parameters.